hello friends welcome back this is Omit from magnet and today we are going to learn how we can put a motion blur on an obj sequence inside element 3d so it's a quick tip video on element 3d that how we can put the motion blur because whenever we put any kind of obj sequence we will see that there is no motion blur if we even if we turn the motion blur on but there is no motion blur so i create a small scene by using a mixamo animated obj sequence inside element 3d and if i play it you will see that there is no motion blur so let's play this okay so you will see that there is no motion blur occurring here it's because i disable the motion blur right now so here is the motion blur and you will see that the motion blur is turned off okay uh, let's turn this on and see what if there is any motion blur occur or not okay so just turn this on okay i turn on the motion blur let's play this again okay so this is after when we turn on the motion blur and you can see the motion blur is turned on but you can notice that there is no motion blur okay so this is a problem for element 3d that whenever we put any obj sequence it doesn't calculate as a animation it is just an obj after an obj so this is how the element 3d recognize that it's a static object and there is no motion so the motion blur doesn't apply on the obj sequence but if you make any kind of camera animation here if i just create i mean just select the camera tool here and go over the camera and make some key point to the point of interest and the position and go scrub through some time here and make an camera animation here and then you will see that there is some of the camera i mean the motion blur if you make a little bit more camera movement here then you will see that there is some motion blur but it's not for the movement of the object it is only for the movement of the camera so sometimes it look uh, nice but it is not the real uh, solution for applying motion blur to the obj sequence it's only because the camera is moving and for the camera movement it create some motion blur to the object but what if we try to apply the motion blur on the obj sequence so there is uh, a solution that i found and i'm going to share this uh, with you so let's create some motion blur on the obj sequence so first of all i just uh, delete the camera keyframe here so we will see that the motion blur clearly on to this obj object so first i just disable the motion blur that is the inbuilt motion blur for element 3d just turn this off okay and whenever we talk about the motion blur there is one plugin which is called the cc force motion blur came in our mind so let's try this first okay so first we create a new adjustment layer here and come over this effect and presets and search for the cc force motion blur so type so here is the cc force motion blur just drag and drop to this adjustment layer and let's try this okay so you will see that the cc force motion blur not exactly work here because you will see there is no motion blur but if we turn the shutter angle up you will see little bit of this ghosting appear and it's because it creates a motion blur but it's not look right so what if we turn up this motion blur samples on i mean up it will take little time but it doesn't work well here because you will see the ghostings and there is no extra sample added here so the force motion blur not work here properly okay so we have to do another i mean we have to try another thing here so just delete this 
so let's try another plugin so again come over this effects and presets and type pixel motion blur so p i x there is the pixel motion blur so just drag and drop to this adjustment layer and you will see some motion blur appear here and this look nice and if we turn the full rays here you will see some actually it creates a motion blur and the samples is not good so if we turn up this shutter sham sample here we turn this up you will see it creates a really nice job here and do a nice motion blur here okay so maybe we can try a ramp preview here and let's see how it look like with this motion blur okay so make a ramp preview and i put the resolution to half so it will create a quick ramp preview here wow now you can see a real motion blur here and it's look nice but you can notice that some ghosting line here so this look not right and you will see that some ghosting here i mean there is some ghosting lines here and there is also and if you go over here you will see that there is also some marks here and if i turn the full resolution here you will also see there is some this transparent lines and this really not look good here and there is the problem so also the pixel motion blur not work properly but you can see that it can create really nice motion blur here okay and you can also use this if you don't want to turn the motion blur on inside element 3d because if you turn on the motion blur inside element 3d and you go for the render the sometime the render took too much time and if you just make a render without the motion blur it will render quickly and after that you can put this pixel pixel motion blur on the after element 3d render and you also get a nice motion blur uh, in a very little amount of render time okay so maybe we will uh, play with the co composition setting and if you go to the composition setting here and go to this advanced option here and you will see there is also some option for motion blur that is the shutter angle and these samples also so if you turn up the shutter angle here and if you turn on up the uh, i mean the sample frame here and the maximum sample frame is 64 and now if you hit ok you will see that some ghosting is disappear here even if you turn up the shutter angle and the sample uh, samples of the frame you can get this i mean this ghosting lines here so this is not work here okay so there we came up with the solution and which is perfectly applied and create a nice motion blur so let's try this so so let's delete this plugin here and let's try another one so again we go to the effect and go to the time and there is the option that is called the time wrap so just select this one okay and you can see that time wraps also work nice but it not uh, works here okay so maybe it's because that the speed which is set to the 50 okay so first we turn this speed to 100 percent so just turn this to 100 okay now it is match the time frame here okay and now we go to this motion blur and we turn enable this enable motion blur switch here okay so motion blur is not applied here it's because it's set to the automatic so now we just set it to the manual okay so now you can see that the same problem happen here that is the ghosting so now we have to do some changes here and make it fix so first you go to the shutter angle here and maybe if you want you can turn up the shutter angle so you will get more motion blur here 
and also whenever you turn up this shutter angle you also uh, have to turn up the samples as well so just turn this off so you'll get a clean result here okay but those ghosting still appearing here so it's because that we have to turn on this option that is the build from one image just turn this on and now you can see those ghosting are disappear okay so this is the final result and you can see that this look really clean and nice okay so let's make a quick ramp review here okay so you can see that the motion blur look nice and there is no extra ghosting samples here okay so this is the trick for how you can get motion blur to your obj sequence okay so now you will think that why i am not showing this effect initially so i just wanted to show you that what is the problem and how you can fix the problem so the cc force motion blur it's a good plugin but it works not here and i don't know why but it's not work properly here but you can use that plugin in many ways and many other places where when it uh, can work properly and then we sh uh, show see the pixel motion blur and it also a good plugin for motion blur but not work properly here and we finally get this time wrap and uh, uh, tweaking some settings here and we get a nice result here so this is the uh, the problem that we do not get the motion blur when we apply a object sequence inside element 3d and this is the solution that how you we can create the motion blur on object sequence and in my many videos i put the object sequence it will be a very common problem for us that we use element 3d and we not getting the motion blur but uh, from now we can also get the motion blur to uh, whenever we use the object sequence so i hope this trick helps you out and um, helps you to create a nice render inside element 3d and if you like this video i recommend you to check my youtube channel and you will find so many other videos related to element 3d and so many free models for element 3d so i am working on a nice project on element 3d and i hope i can upload this soon and i really like that you people are supporting me and watch my videos and really enjoy these videos and if you create anything like this by watching this video please share with me and i am also giving you this obj sequence model in the description if you want to make anything by using this obj sequence you can uh, download this model from the description and if you really like to support me please subscribe this channel and if you want to do a little bit more you can also join me as a member so this is for today and i am amit and we will see in my next video so till then take care and bye bye